Nekundi, who delivered the keynote address, called for the collective support of the National Road Safety Council to urgently and strategically implement the strategic initiatives under the second decade of Action for Road Safety 2021 to 2030. The level at which human trauma has accelerated over the last three decades is tremendous and warrants our attention as the problem has grown significantly. Namibia is a nation with barely 2.4 million people and the rate at which our citizens are succumbing to the carnage on our national road is of serious worrisome. The deputy chairperson of the National Road Safety Council, Lynette Malepa, however, emphasized that many lessons have been learned during the first Namibian chapter of the Decade of Action, but reiterated that for a good safety strategy to be realized, the components of people, resources, structure, systems and culture need not be overlooked. All components must be in place in order to move from creating the plan to activating the plan. To realize the ideals in this noble strategy, implementing the second Namibia chapter of the Decade of Action for Road Safety 2021-2030, to a well-capacitated road safety agency is of paramount importance. Karas Governor Aleta Friedrich says motor vehicle accidents are preventable as 95% of crashes can be traced back to human error. You can go through some of the motor vehicle crash reports and notice that some of the causes of road crashes indicate single vehicle overturn, lost control, and in some instances, head-on collisions. Once you, had, once you can assess the chain of events leading up to the actual road crash, human error can be traced. Therefore, as leaders in the service of the people of Namibia, we must take appropriate steps in saving and preserving the precious lives of our Namibian citizens through responsive and proactive policy formulation. The conference was attended by about 100 stakeholders within the road safety sector. Na Tangujimi NBC News, Luderitz.